Nerd alert. Nerd alert. Hello all, this is Damien from DSLRNerd.com. How are you? I'm coming to you from my not that creepy basement. So, if it were mine, I think I'd paint a big green screen back here. Just paint that all in Luma. Let's paint everything in Luma. Then we can just stick in whatever reality we want. So, um, doing a couple of things down here tonight and uh, started to set up and first wanted to say something about uh, my two tripods here, which I use pretty much equally. Um, on the left is a Davis and Sanford. Uh, I forget the model number specifically. I'll have to put it up in a super. I think it was like 170, I want to say. It's got a, it's a good, good firm handle. Um, and I would say that it's definitely a nice fluid head, FM18 uh, squared fluid head. Um, but there's no fine adjustment in this fluid head. It's got a quick release plate, which is specific to them. I don't think this will fit Manfrotto. I will have to double check on that answer up on your screen probably uh, with a safety button and you know this the other handle goes right here I have it don't worry so you can pop this other handle on yeah miraculous cut later okay so you can see it's got the little gear teeth and you can position your handle upside down or really wherever whatever floats your boat um, little video trick I learned Put uh, rubber bands on the back of your handles and you can get nice fluid. But I like it. It's, it's a nice tripod. It's got a um, bowl mount here so you can loosen this and position this anywhere you want to as well uh, to get level. Um, and it came with legs. I've got the casters for it uh, back in a corner somewhere of the studio. Don't know where. Definitely a good tripod for uh, doing some some video. Um, it's a nice B-roll. It's a nice sturdy B-roll tripod. Um, if you wanted to put this all the way out and put some weights on it, some sandbags or something, this would be a good stand in a corner with a um, stationary camera to capture some room shots for a wedding. Definitely, definitely nice and sturdy. I don't think the It'd be hard for the kids to knock that over. And um, Manfrotto 055 PROB legs and um, the photo video head or 055 mag something or other. Um, which is definitely, definitely a good tripod as well for uh, doing a bit of video. This is nice and Nice and smooth in a way that the Davis and Sanford is not. I don't know if I can quite explain that the best, but basically you just have one knob on the side and something to tighten the, the pan is right there. So a little clunky, this at least comes out and turns, but you don't really need it. Nothing really gets caught on it, the arms maybe. And um, when all that's loose, it's kind of, really there's no, there's no fine tuning so much in here. There's a little bit of fine tuning, um, but that's really not enough to influence this guy. It's going to be pretty much the same feeling no matter how you're um, how you're working it there. But the um, the Manfrotto um, photo movie head uh, definitely has a nice bit of fine tuning to it. So right now for a tilt, you know, I've got that kind of pretty loose feeling. I can kind of do both of these a little tighter. I can kind of spin both the regular tightener and the, the, um, uh, the fine adjust at the same time sometimes. Kind of get both of those going. So that's nice. And then you can a couple of turns and you're all locked up with that. Of course, like I said, there's a little bit of play in this handle, uh, which is not cool. A little bit of play in that. Even though this is um, all the way screwed down and that's pretty tight. This one's tight and that one's all the way tight. <clears throat> it's basically because the it's basically because the length of that is about that long. So um, an inch maybe. Um, there's a little bit of a 
there's a little bit of a, um, a notch there that has to match. It's a notch inside of this as well. So there's only one way. You have to kind of turn it till it catches, right? And then you push it on as far as it'll go and lock this down all the way and that is all handle. It's not the end of the world. It's not really going to affect me that much, but it's like a little bit of a skip within the uh, within the head itself. Uh, uh, not th this runs perfectly. The head is functioning perfectly, uh, but it's basically if the head did have a little bit of a skip in it, this little bit of play in the handle kind of makes for a bit of a slippery video. So, um, that's my only gripe about it right now. Other than that, it's, uh, it's a cool... Other than that, it's... Oh, you gotta loosen this one up. Yep, that's gotta be loose in order for this to function. Interesting, huh? So that locks, and if I lock this, that's not going anywhere. So there's your portrait mode. Thanks for watching. If you like my channel, please subscribe.